Hey friends, happy Tuesday. It is Connor here. I hope you're all having a great day so far. Let's do some brand new candle reviews today. I've got two candle reviews for you guys coming up today. Both of them are from Kringle Candle. One of them, which you can see um, as it's shown right here, we are going to be talking about a new release from this spring, which is the Sea Breeze Scent. And then a little bit later on today, I will have a review out of Kringle Candle Fiji, which is more of a classic scent for them that they've had out for years. Um, I am a little bit newer to Kringle. I guess you could say I've been shopping for a little bit more than a year with them. So um, I'm still trying to try out some of their classic scents as well as their newer scents. So those are the two candle reviews for today. Before we start, I do have a few things that I do want to discuss. First of all, if you can see this little chip right here, um, I do want to address that. Before you make any pre-assumptions, no, the candle did not break when it was coming in the mail from Kringle Candle. I've actually never received a broken candle or anything broken or really any shipping at all. No shipping issues with Kringle. Their packaging is amazing and it is just done really well. I've never had a problem with that. Um, this chip actually came from me. I was putting the candle down on the counter and I think I just like hit it on accident on like the ledge and somehow it chipped on the top and um, the whole thing didn't shatter, which I was like so thankful. So there is a little chip on there and I'll actually show you guys. There is, um, it's, there's a little like crack there, but it's nothing bad and thankfully it's not affecting where I'm burning. So I feel like I should be good and there's no like fire hazard or safety concern or anything like that. So. I am going to be continuing to burn this one, but if I do get an issue, I can always um, put it in my candle crock. But yeah, we are going to be talking about Sea Breeze. Um, before I get into the review, Kringle did a release on Monday of three brand new Easter scents. I'm actually pre-filming this, by the way, on Sunday evening, so I, I'm not guessing that they're going to be sold out by the time that this video comes out but you really never know um there are three brand new scents with the easter candles you can use my code connor loves candles to get yourself 15 percent off i will link down below the kringle candle website if you are interested in shopping with them i am going to be ordering all three of the new easter candles um so Definitely be looking forward to a haul sometime next week once the candles do get to me. I will, of course, share them with you guys once they get to me and do all the reviews and all the things that I do. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But I did want to let you guys know that there are some new Easter scents coming up. Um, but yeah, I think that that is all that I needed to get out of the way. So... As I was saying, Seabreeze is a new scent for this spring from Kringle Candle. They did release 12 brand new scents, six of them in the Kringle line and six of them in the country line. They are all 100% soy. That is a new change. If you remember, the country line used to be paraffin, but now it is 100% soy as well as these traditional Kringle candles here. Um, I am really excited about that decision and... Um, I know not everyone is because some people do enjoy paraffin and I totally get that if you do. Personally, I love the burn of these soy candles. So I am pretty happy about this, uh, or I guess not even pretty happy. I'm very happy <laughs> about this change. Um, but yeah, I actually have all of the new country candles sitting at my house right now. As you guys know, I am currently on vacation here at the beach. So that is why I'm burning some beachy candles here and I'm actually filming this review here at the beach, but I do have all of the new country candles at home waiting for me to do my first sniffs there. Kringle was kind enough to send me all six of them for PR. So once I get home, I will film a video of my initial sniffs and then my goal for the next few weeks is going to be burning and getting reviews out of these new 12 fragrances for you guys so lots to look forward to but um yeah i'm gonna be kicking it off here with sea breeze i thought this would be an appropriate one to burn um here while i'm at the beach and it's a new one so i was like let me go ahead and burn this one 
Um, this candle comes in this large traditional chart, as you can see here, two wicks, 100% soy wax. It also comes in a medium jar, and then it also comes in a three wick, which is the new 100% soy as well. I love those three wicks. I will be purchasing one of those as well when I place my Easter order tomorrow. And then it's also in the daylight, which is kind of like a votive, but it has its own container. And those are great if you want to try the scent without fully committing to purchasing a jar. So I would definitely suggest that. Wax melts are coming soon, by the way. So be on the lookout for those um, hopefully soon. But for right now, you can go ahead and purchase the daylights if you guys are interested in trying the scent in a smaller version. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the review with the notes and description. Okay, so the description on this one reads, an immersive scent featuring warm ambered sands and darkened coconut fruit swirled within a coastal complex of azure waters, salted palm, marine kelp, and sun-ripened island fruits. Your top notes are ozone, coconut, your mid notes are fruit and green, and your base notes are coconut and amber okay so from the moment that i smelled this on cold sniff the first thing that i got was the coconut and as you guys may know if you watch them here i am not always the biggest fan of coconut scents i feel like over time as i've matured a little bit more i've learned to like them more i guess but i'm really never big on coconut or really just any super tropical or like fruit scent but I am growing, I guess I'm learning to like scents more like that. Um, I normally for the spring stick to like florals and clean scents. Um, that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people love the super citrusy and fruity scents. Um, I am learning to like them, but you know, I love my florals. But this is actually a really nice scent and I'm actually enjoying this a lot more than I expected. When I think of like a sea breeze or even just like when I look at this label, I am expecting for more of like an ocean air and not as much of a coconut scent. So I was a little bit surprised when I smelled the candle and it was just pretty much coconut. Um, but I guess based on the notes, it does look like it is a coconut scent. Um, it's not just coconut in here. There is like some fruity undertone in here. It's definitely a base of coconut and that is what I get for most of it. But there is a little bit of like fruitiness under there. Um, nothing too strong. It's kind of like a light kind of airy scent, but I think it's a nice scent. It kind of reminds me of like a coconut drink or like a coconut colada. Just like you're on the beach and you're drinking like a coconut drink with a cherry on top and it's like got some fruitiness in there. It's just a really nice scent, very beachy, really, really nice, tropical. Definitely is appropriate for me to be burning here while I'm at the beach, but if you want to take the beach to your home and feel like you're on an island on the beach, um, definitely purchase this candle because that is definitely how it is making me feel. By the way, I love, love, love this label. It is so pretty. I mean, while I do love the three wick painted jars, those are stunning, but like these are amazing as well. Um, just beautiful. And I feel like this picture does really represent the fragrance really well and I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and chat about performance here. As I mentioned, this is 100% soy. Um, so the burn is amazing per usual. Um, I love this um, formula that Kringle uses. It is just such a clean burning formula and probably my fav favorite formula out of all of the candle companies. As you can see, just such a clean burn here. I am about at the midway point. That's normally when I like to do my reviews and we just have that really nice creamy white wax burning all the way down. There's no discoloration at all here on the uh, jar, no soot, anything like that. Just a really nice clean burn. Now with my little overhead view, sorry, I've got a lamp here to help with the lighting because the, the lighting is not great, but um, 
there is my burn. As you can see, just such a nice clean burn. No residue at all. It's just a really stunning clean burn. I love the wicks that they use on these 100% um, soy Kringles. They're just amazing and I'm always amazed whenever I burn these candles. They are just amazing um, for their burn. Now, as far as the strength of the throw goes, this one is a powerhouse. And I honestly was not expecting this to be as strong as it is when I just smelled it on cold sniff. I honestly thought that this would be a lighter scent just because on cold it was a little bit lighter. I picked up the coconut and I got some of those fruity undertones, but like it truly wasn't a very strong scent when I smelled it on cold. But when this is burning, it really is just a beautiful scent. And I actually think that I may prefer this, like the scent when it is burning versus on cold sniff. So I always say this, whenever you have your candles, even if you don't like the scent on cold, always burn it. If you don't plan to return it, of course, burn it. If you do plan to return it, I would not suggest burning it. But if you're not going to return it, just burn it because you may end up enjoying it or crock it, whatever you want to do. But for some reason, like when the wax gets warmed and the fragrance is let out, it's just sometimes a different and even better scent than what it was when it's not burning or melted. So I just really enjoy this scent. I think it is really nice. Um, for the strength and the throw, I know I talked to you guys a little bit about this in my reviews from a few days ago. I can't remember when they went out, honestly, but I was talking about how I kind of want to reformulate my like strength and throw ranking system, I guess. Um, I know a few other ambassadors, um, Melanie was talking about this and I completely agree with her like we need to kind of reformulate how we're thinking because truly strength and throw can be different for everyone based off of your house that you're bringing it in um so like at home my house is very open concept um it's a much newer home and it is big but it's very open concept so it's a different layout than this beach house that we're here in right now it's actually much smaller here and it's a little bit more closed concept so the strength of the throat is different airflow goes into it so lots of different things go into the strength and the throw of different candles so from now on i'm gonna try and do more low medium high this is definitely a high i'm thinking low would be anywhere from zero to four high would be or sorry medium would be from like five to seven and then high would be eight to eight to ten because i do my rankings out of ten so i would give this like an eight and a half to a nine out of ten this is just such a strong scent completely fills up this area that we're or the home that we're in right now i'm not sure because my house is much bigger um back in virginia so i'm not sure how it's going to be different and i may save a little bit um like i may burn it down to here and then just stop and then take it home and see how it does there because i am interested to see how the strength of the throw would differ but here it is completely filling up the house and it's a really delightful scent so very impressed as always i'm loving all of these new releases so far with kringle and i am just so excited for what is to come i know Mick, the CEO of Kringle, has been doing a lot of teasers on his Instagram showing us a bunch of the new three wicks. They have a balloon one and I need that one. I found out that that's a birthday cake scent. I'm like, oh, I'm going to need multiple of those. Um, they have just a lot of new releases coming soon. So definitely stay tuned with Kringle. Um, but yeah, that is my thoughts on Sea Breeze from Kringle Candle. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. Comment down below if you have received this one yet in the mail, if you did purchase it, and let me know your thoughts on it so far. How did it burn for you, um, and how was the performance? Definitely let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to stay tuned for later today. I do have one more candle review for you guys, so definitely stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys there. Bye.